Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba' We have to pose ourselves a very important question And that is Can we consider people who curse the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and hate the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and harm with their tongues the personalities of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's companions Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een Can we take them as companions and friends? and supporters and helpers? Do we consider them our brothers in faith? When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said وَأَنَّ خَيْرًا خَيْرَ قُرُونَ قَرْنَ الَّذِينَ أو قال صلى الله عليه وسلم خير الناس قَرْنِ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونَهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونَهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونَهُمْ the Prophet ﷺ said, The best of the people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. And then the Prophet ﷺ said in another narration, La tasubbu ashabi. He said, And do not curse my companions. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. This lets us know that as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and believers in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his his prophethood, alayhi salatu wasalam, that he was the last and final messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that he was sent by Allah tabarak wa taala as a mercy for mankind. The person who believes in this and has this aqidah and this minhaj will never depart on that. And the person who has this belief in creed and minhaj, this methodology, in da'wah ilallah, they will never make fun or ridicule or belittle the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And will hold them in the highest esteem and part of the belief of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah is that the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een were that they were the best of mankind after the Prophets and Messengers Alayhim Afdal Salatu Wasalam Wa Radiallahu Ta'ala Anuhum Ajma'een Ala Sahaba Sahaba Tal Kiram So this is the belief of the Muslim and those people who belittle the best of the Muslims in fact are belittling and distorting the message and creed of Islam and they are distorting and belittling the methodology of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Salaf al-Saleh Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een Wa Ridwanullahi Alayhim Wa Rahmatullahi Alayhim Ajma'een. So the person who departs from this, can we consider them our brothers? Is it from the principle of al-wala wal-bara, to, which is loving for the sake of Allah and hating for the sake of Allah, meaning loving that what Allah loves and those whom Allah loves and hating that which Allah hates and those who Allah hates. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes the people who went astray and the people who were misguided and didn't practice the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them. They didn't practice the message and they didn't follow the messengers. And they used to kill their prophets. Allah hates those people, so that's part of uh, bara. That's a part of hating who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates and those people who the curses of Allah are sent upon. And loving for the sake of Allah is loving those things that Allah loves. Allah loves in Allah yuhibbu mutatahirin. 
وَيُحِبُّ الصَّابِرِينَ Allah loves the patient and He loves those people who are pure. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised in the Qur'an the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. Allah has praised them and said that they are uh, righteous and, and that they were the people who commanded the good and forbade the evil. There's many ayat in the Qur'an. However, there are those people out there who curse them and make it a part of their central, a central tenet of their creed to curse them and make takfir of them, consider them apostates. So for Ahlul Islam, we can never, ever have brotherhood with a people like this. Nor can we be uh, thinking that they are our brothers and that they are uh, people of Iman. Abedin, there's no way that you can have Iman in your heart and total kufr to hate who Allah loves, the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. When Ahl Islam is united, that they are uh, the best of this Ummah. Starting with who? Abu Bakr, the companion of the Prophet وسلم, And then Umar And then who? Uthman And then after that Ali ibn Abi Talib We love them all. They are the, the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. They are to be loved as Allah loved them. And they should be held in high esteem as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised them to a, uh, a position in Islam that we can never attain. We can try and we should try to be like the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. But we will never reach their status. And one of the fadila or fadail that they have over us is that they, the fadail or the fadila of suhbah, of being the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu So I ask those du'a, those people from Ahl Islam, those Muslims who call to Allah and they try to call to Allah with sincerity to be careful and refrain from speaking about the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala in an ill way. And I also urge them and exhort them to be cautious about sitting and working with and making statements that, hey, though they're our brothers, or the only difference between us and them is this or that, that they should be cautious about making statements like this. When Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Akfir min Yahud wa Nasara. He said that the Raf of the Shia, those people who curse and make it a part of their religion to curse the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, that they are akfir min Yahud wa Nasara. They have more disbelief than the Jews and the Christians. Why the Jews and the Christians, they worship, the, the Christians, they worship who? They worship Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam. We love Jesus. We have more right to Jesus than they do because we follow him that he prayed to Allah. But he didn't ask the people to pray to him. He didn't ask the people to worship him. The Rafa of the Shia have more disbelief than them. Why? Because they worship their Imams. Look into their creed and you'll see it. The 12 Imams, who are they? They believe they, they, these people know knowledge of the unseen. They also make it a, a pillar of their creed to curse the companions of the Prophet وسلم, to curse Aisha anha, to say that she was not just a disbeliever but that she was an adulteress and all kind of other evil. So how is it that that person is your brother? How is that person your sister in Islam, in faith? Never. Abedin, kufr wa shirk can never come together. Bid'ah wa sunnah cannot come together. Bid'ah mukaffara and sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can never come together. So ahl sunnah holds on to the rope of Allah as Allah has commanded. وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold on to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from the evil of the Rafida and wherever they're making their da'wah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala return and, and uh, 
reject them from the lands of the Muslims and the lands of the non-Muslims where they are spreading their evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the da'wah of Ahl sunnah to spread around the earth and those places, those marakas, marakas of sunnah to be uh, spread and supported. And may Allah bless us all to be firm on the Quran and the sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.